Yeah. Talking about things that take a long time, why is it so difficult and so long to execute prisoners in the state of Missouri? The Missouri Department of Corrections is switching to a new lethal injection drug less than two weeks after Governor Jay Nixon halted executions until a replacement for propovol was found. The Corrections Department says in a news release that it will now use pentobarbital. The Death Penalty Information Center says 13 states use that drug for executions. We've always known there can be a lot of legal appeals on death row inmates, but since when did it become a problem in Missouri that you couldn't execute prisoners because of the drug? drug that was being used. Stacy. Well, when you started to have uh, manufacturers in the European Union saying this drug that's usually used for purposes of anesthesia uh, all over the world and the majority of it's manufactured there and we know in the European Union the death penalty is an absolute no-no, a social taboo, start to threaten economically that they weren't going to let the drug be imported in the United States. It would have hurt uh, the majority of medical care providers that try to use that drug in, in a different means that Correction departments, particularly in Missouri, had to step back and say, whoa, we're not going to use this as a means for fear that it would hurt, you know, medical care in our state as well as the rest of the country. It was the, it was, it was the strong arm of economics, and we know money always wins over everything. The, uh, the prisoner who is going to be executed now, the next prisoner in the state of Missouri, was involved in a murder back in 1977. Uh, it has taken that long for that actually to come to that execution date, Steve. Christie. And that's one of the big complaints about capital punishment, Nick, is just how expensive it is. People want justice. What they forget sometimes are the millions of dollars that go uh, that are spent in the in the appeals of these cases, much less the care of these folks while they're still in prison. Why is it that we only hear about this in the state of Missouri and we're not hearing about this in the state of Kansas, Barbara Shelley? That's a great question. Um, Missouri has more prisoners on death row and more, um, you know, more execution dates that come up. Um, Kansas is actually talking about the, the expense of these capital punishment cases. They're a little further along in the conversation of maybe doing away with their death penalty. And there hasn't been an execution in Kansas since the mid-70s, Nick. And just as recently as 2004, not even a decade ago, there was a state Supreme Court ruling that ruled capital punishment in Kansas unconstitutional. That was later overturned. Turned, but the whole idea of capital punishment in Kansas has been in flux for many years.